Well, the last time Villa beat Arsenal here was on the 13th of December. I wonder. 17 years since that stirring second half comeback. Remy Garb was a gunner in those days. Now the Frenchman is all set to pit his wits against the man he played under, Arsene Wenger. The home side will hope it's a European hangover for their opponents after they yet again clinch qualification for the Champions League group phase in Greece on Wednesday night. Froggy, how do you see this one? It's going to be tough, Jack. It, um, I guess the fascination will be it's teacher and pupil, the two yeah. managers. I mean, obviously, there's a huge amount of respect between the two of them. But Arsene will want to come out on top, it's clear. I mean, it, they've had a fantastic result in the week in the Champions League when everyone thought they were dead and buried. They were out of the Champions League. So, so the lift they'd have got from that would be immense. They're, they're picking up injuries like there's no tomorrow, but because their squad's so big, it's not going to impact on them on too hugely. I mean, obviously, they, they win in the league at home against Sunderland. Great win, obviously, in the, in the week. Yeah, it's going, to, it's going to be a real test of character for us because great point for us in our last game hasn't helped us at all in mm. terms of our league status. And again, we keep saying this every week, we need three yeah. points. And again, this is a really tough ask because Arsenal are class. Mm. Can I put a few crumbs of comfort your way? Go on then. Excellent performance against Manchester City. Another title challenger here. Arsenal, last two away league games. They did lose at West Brom. They only got a point against Norwich. And where's my other crumb? Oh yeah, an unpredictable season in the Premier League. And it, this has been one of the most unpredictable we've it's, ever had. Yeah, it is unpredictable. I, I, my gut feeling on how you beat Arsenal and West Brom did it. You've got to bully them, Jack. You, you, can't, right. you can't go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. There are certain teams in this division that if you try and play football against them, they're going to be much better than you because of the, you know, the, the quality of players that they have at their disposal. You have to be physical. Now, have we got the physicality? It's a big question mark against our squad. Do we have that physicality to go in and bully them? To, kick them to get because they don't like it Arsenal traditionally if you look at games get stoke in the last mm. few years West Brom did it when they played if you get in amongst them they don't like it they want to be able to get the ball have time on the ball play it off and do what they want to do as soon as you rat around them and make life difficult for them I think it becomes a different challenge for them altogether. and because they're missing some of their top top stars yeah no uh, Sanchez no Cazorla yeah. so there are a few out aren't absolutely because I think Sanchez actually even though he's quite small in stature he can mix it physically he's yeah. a powerful unit he can you know mix it with anybody we have to get tackles in win tackles against Arsenal more than anyone else if we uh, if we try and play them at their game they will beat us comfortably mm. and, and the first 20 minutes again at home Jack, it's going to be really key we cannot afford to concede early doors because our confidence is so fragile. The fact that we scored first against Southampton, I think really helped us. It gave the boys a lift. It gave them something yeah. to hang on to. And that's what we need. We need to get a goal early or something to go our way for us to hang on to. I fear for us if we concede early because, let's say, confidence with the boys mm. is so fragile. At home as well, we're, you know, they're starting to feel the pressure a little bit now because of our league position. Something needs to go our way. But what a tonic it would be going into these critical fixtures over the festive period. A favourable result here. Well, if you, if you look at the games we've got coming up, mm -hmm. they are three games we have to win. Simply, Jack, have to win. You're talking about Newcastle, Norwich and Sunderland. Those three games, we have to win them. Because we're seven points adrift. Mm. If you if you if you look at the you know the table as it is, we're going to have to win those three games now, just as possibly and hope all the other three teams lose all yeah. three games for us to get out of it. Well, that's not going to happen because one of those teams will win one of the next three games. Yeah. So we're, we're going to have to win those three games just for parity. Big ask again, isn't it? Because they're all fighting for their lives. We saw some away games as well. Jack saw Newcastle last weekend. I thought they were fantastic. Yeah at home to Liverpool, and they put in the sort of performance that you want if you're trying to battle your way out of it. They work for 90 minutes. That's the sort of performance from Newcastle that I saw against Liverpool that I want from our boys against Arsenal. Doesn't matter. Forget the names, forget the reputation. Get in, get stuck in, chase everything down and make it as hard as you can. Because I, I always believe as a, in your player, the harder you work, funny enough, the luckier you do get in a game. OK, let's hope uh, they listen to you. Uh, much more analysis over on ABTV. Join us on Sunday afternoon as the host looks to turn the league table on its head.